Next up on the Mutual Audio Network, fiction from our future. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that all children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. This Justin from the future. Dick Dynamo was the premier test pilot for the USAF. On the mission in the new experimental AS-400 rocket, a malfunction occurred, thrusting him into a tear in the fabric of time and space. It was there that he acquired knowledge of the fifth dimensional arts. And now, with his computational briefcase possessing powers far beyond those of mere mortal briefcases, he is... Dick Dynamo, the fifth dimensional man. Even with twice the speed of a normal slot, he has, he was, has, and will have no match! I kill for you! Do you want more? Dick has just ripped out Lightning's guts with his bare hands! <laughs> That was a beautiful performance, Dick. You really pack in the lowly desperate masses. When shall I taste blood again? Soon, Mr. Dynamo. Very soon. Let me show you something. I keep it in my hat. It's a rare golden-haired pug. I bought it with the proceeds from tonight's fight. Mr. Pugglesworth, meet Dick Dynamo. Ah, we have now arrived at your majestic milk carton mansion. Lunar Sexies, set him down carefully. Now leave us. Yes, yes sir. Since you have been doing so well in the arena, I have a special gift for you. The large foil wrapped box with a bright red bow? Yes. Yes. Go ahead and open it. It's... it's a bright red jumpsuit. Why, it has a red cowl with a white fuse coming out the top. You like? It's beautiful. I love it. Can I wear it now? Go ahead, Dick. It's yours. This is you now. You will be Dick Dynamite. Cast off the title of the fifth dimensional man and become my champion. I will. This pleases me, Dick. Now I have business to attend to. I will leave Mr. Pugglesworth in your care. Rest your weary body for tomorrow you fight again. So, Mr. Pugglesworth is your name. That doesn't suit you at all. I'm gonna call you Space Dog. Oh, your heart is pounding. Shh, shh. You, I won't kill. Calm down. Calm down. We're friends. Best friends. My little dynamite, I have decided to give you a title shot. 
All you have to do is defeat tonight's opponent. And the one-eyed cock is yours. You think you can do that? <laughs> All right, then. You go to it. Now tonight, for our main event, back in the days of yore, he slayed for your pleasure as Dick Dynamo. Now, he comes again, reborn a champion. Scream from your bowels for Dick Dynamite! I am your god! Worship me! And for his debut fight, we have a special treat. Dick Dynamite will fight the most dangerous creature on the face of the earth. A monster that is feared by every man. I give you a sober Irish cop. Me know you. You, you're Officer Mick. Oh, back. Stop repeating yourself. Remember yourself, Dick. Shortly after you were shrunk down, they shrunk me. <laughs> I've spent the last month in a canary cage without a drop of liquor. Funny man speak. Too much. I know, Dick, but I have a right clever plan to get this out of this. <laughs> Backstage, I doled my razor weapon against a rock. <laughs> we will put on a good show of slashing each other. And then we will pretend to succumb to our wounds. Tiny pants! They will then carry us out to the dumpster, and none will be the wiser. Mish, mash, mash, face! And then we can return and destroy this blasted animal fighting ring. <laughs> now follow my lead. That is an awful queer suit you're wearing. I didn't think red footy pajamas were your style. You're... <laughs> Fighting like a beast! Are you crazy? Follow the plan! You're slitting my throat! Oh no, 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 no! Oh! I'm covered in blood. What am I? Who are me? Uh, uh. Who are me? Dick Dynamo has done it! He has defeated the sober Irish cop. He is now cradling the officer's bloody body in his arms, savoring this victory. Won't come off. Blood! Blood on my hands! Go away! Wretched red liquid! What? What am I doing? Who am I? How did I get here? Wait! I'm Dick Dynamite! Yes! The fearsome warrior! <laughs> Quite the contrary, sir! You are the one and only Dick Dynamo! The fifth dimensional man! You traveled across dimensions with your computational briefcase! Space dog, you talk? Why, Mr. Dynamo, I've always talked! Some people just don't have the magic in their hearts to listen! Dick Dynamo, I know him! <laughs> Why, silly, you are him! Look deep inside yourself, and you'll find the legendary cosmic troubleshooter that you are. I can't do it. Look harder. I found him. I found him. <laughs> Look inside yourself, Dick Dynamo. Look inside of me? Look inside yourself, Dick Dynamo. And what will I see? Well, you'll see rainbows. And sunlight, and ice cream, and clouds, and puppy dogs, and cigarettes, and cupcakes, and milk. Well, we all have times in our lives when we feel really small. We're forced to cut off animals' heads, and we nail them to the wall. Moon drops and platelets and 
toes with hormones and scrotums and thyroids and clouds. Well, hey, Dick Dynamo, do you think you're starting to get it? Well, I don't know too much about getting it, but I know when something feels right, and this feels really right. Let's sing it one more time. Here we go. With rainbows and sunlight and ice cream and clouds with puppy dogs and cigarettes and cupcakes and milk and used rubber tires with steel belts and pavement rocks and more rocks and outer space, super space, asteroids. Nick, what are you doing? Mayor White, I've found myself. Briefcase, get my shoes. Guess what, Mayor White? Space Dog told me to look into myself, and I did. We've been talking. Nick, that dog's licking himself. He can't talk. No, listen, Space Dog. Tell Mayor White what we were just discussing about, you know, our magical souls and how our hearts help us understand each other. Did you hear him? Yeah, I heard him. He says you're off your rocker. Now get yourself together, Dick. I came here to borrow a cup of sugar. I started talking to a nice lady about her taxes and for her night job and uh, uh she had a cramp so we uh came back here so she could walk it off and uh that's when i found you you're absolutely right briefcase where are my shoes where are you it's not here dick we gotta get you out of here now climb into my coat no no i have to finish what i came here for I have to kill El Pollo Loco de Uno Ojo Mysterio, but I don't think Senor Ivan's going to let me go after this match. There's no way he's going to give up on his cash cow. Well, do you have a plan? Yes. Lean in, Mayor White, and I'll whisper the plan. Well, what about the talking puck? Oh, he's no stoolie. I vouch for him. Okay, so here's the plan. <laughs> It's the match you've been waiting for! Only once in a millennium does a titanic battle descend from the heavens to grace the earth and you, OMPG! Good people are blessed with the privilege of seeing such a glorious knee-bending sight. Prepare your eyeballs to leave your former religions behind to join the Church of Chicken Wire. Now entering the arena is the deity of poultry, the god of white meat, your one-eyed cock doo doo El Pollo Loco de Uno Ojo Mysterio. Now, turn your heads to witness the blazing glory of your tiny panted champion, Dick Dynamite! <laughs> Dick has come charging in on a randy golden-haired pug. This certainly is a surprise, folks. It looks like Dick Dynamite is fighting a mounted battle. Look at him hold his arm so boldly, stretched wide to embrace his destiny. He isn't moving a muscle, not a bead of sweat. Precious sweet devil, what a composure. Now the two opponents are squared off. The one-eyed cock, an unwavering rock of feathers. And Dynamite still sitting confidently astride his golden-haired pug steed. Dick is charging the cock, what a brazen attack! El Pollo Loco spins into a roundhouse kick! Incredibly, Dick has not moved to defend himself! The two are delighted! And... and... Dick Dynamite's 
head has been cut off! Oh my god, folks. This is tragic. I can't believe it. Surely if our sport was not so shunned by the world, the people of the world would be weeping. It is over. I'm sorry, folks, but Dick Dynamo is dead. the signal. Thumbs up! White detonated explosives we concealed on the stadium's northern wall. I dug my heels into the pug's flanks and charged the smoking hole it left. Hey, 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 old space dog! Mayor White, make us a path to the lab door! The dank space pit was now full of smoke. Their tremendous speed and the panic spectators crashed down around me. My golden-haired mount deftly darted between tree-trunk-sized legs. Suddenly, I heard a familiar voice. Stop him, my brawny sexies! The dick is trying to escape! Hey, Lucius, I got him! Ah! He slipped right out of my hand! One of the bodyguards dived for me, but was blocked by a group of stumbling businesswomen of the night. Mayor White pulled over a drunken midget and reached the laboratory door. The key, Mayor! The door won't open without it. Hold on! Briefcase! Can you open the door for us? Yes, Quickly! Shut the door, Mayor White. Briefcase! Start up the sizing machine! Get back, you SOB, or I'll clock you one! No! You capitalist amigo! Uh, You're not stopping me from achieving my uh, dream of dominating the Americas! Sick! Look out! It's the headless body of the one-eyed cock! How the heck is it still running around? The machine is ready, Dick. Step inside. Hello! Hello! Ford Pug! Me and Space Dog plunged into the clanking steam-powered machine. I felt myself growing, but we weren't alone. The decapitated body of the one-eyed cock had followed us in. I tried to push my feathered nemesis out, but stumbled and tumbled out of the machine. Fortunately, I had reached my normal manly size. You fool! You have overloaded the machine! We shall all perish now! Well, I can't believe it, Dick. The poor devil leapt out that window and committed suicide. That is the least of our worries, Mayor. That machine is about to blow this whole basement into smithereens. Quick, up those stairs! <sighs> Thank Odin we made it out. Wait! Look, Dick! The building! Something huge is emerging from the rubble! It's a giant pug! And a giant headless still running corpse of El Pollo Loco de Uno Ojo Mysterio! One week later, I was floating down Main Street in a gondola with Mayor White. Well, it looks like old El Pollo Loco finally bled out. 
Yeah, Dick. But now my streets are flooded with chicken blood and giant pug poo. Too bad we had to put a leash on Space Dog. Take him into the woods, throw down some baloney, and when he was licking it up, shoot him in the face. Oh, what a bunch of baloney! <laughs> <laughs> J.C. Dalton, Fred Cottrell, and Anthony Myers. Also included in this episode are the Rogers Arkansas Community Theater Players. Make sure you check out for more updates at www.dickdynamo.com. Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Battery, along with my associates, Arnie Kunch. I can introduce myself. Thank you very much. All right. Hi, I'm Arnie Kunch. That's it. That's it. And also, 
Do you want me to introduce you, Brad? Well, of course, Mr. Bell. That's your job as host. Thank you, Brad. And I'd like to introduce Brad... Hold it. What? Here's your script. Script? (laughs) Well, you gotta know what to say. All right. And introducing Brad Montworth, a salesman, incomparable public relations expert, and, of course, unrivaled attorney at law. No, come on, you know how to say it, Mr. Bell. Unrivaled attorney Attorney at 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 law. law. Oh, Mr. Bell, you shouldn't say those things. You make me blush. Can I do my introduction over again? No. We're here for an important reason. Very important. Indeed. If you think you deserve significant financial compensation, call Brad Motworth, attorney, attorney at law. Oh, oh, boy. At 555 No, 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 no. We're here to remind everybody to take steps to avoid the coronavirus. Yeah, don't catch it. Because there's no one you can sue. Wash your hands thoroughly and keep social distancing. What? Social distancing. One more time. Stay about six feet away from everybody else. Right, very good. Oh, I gotta wash my hands thoroughly. I don't want to get me this corona. Ooh, keep your distance now. Socially. I want to keep feeling fine corona. Never gonna stop getting squirts from my Purell. I'm always gonna buy all the toilet paper that they sell. Bye, 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 bye. Whoa. Bye, corona. Bye, corona. Don't get no closer, huh? Beat it, huh? Far enough where I can't see your eyes, Corona. An illness history is not for me. Uh Uh-uh. Don't want to try your COVID on for size, Corona. Never gonna touch. Stay away. My epidermis never wants to be close to where that nasty germ is. Bye, 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 bye. Woo! Bye, Corona. Fly, Corona. Captain Bly, Corona. What? Pumpkin pie, Corona. Now wait a minute. Goodbye, Corona. Good riddance.